Oh, y'all, it's the quiet storm. I'm out here in this evening time. I'll never be out here in this thing. What is my neighbor doing? I ain't even got you. I wonder what. I don't even want to know. Anyway, there ain't none of my men. So, I was out here cleaning up some beds. And I wanted to show y'all. And I wanted to show y'all right after I did it. So, can y'all see this? This was a pepper plant. So, you see all up here that's dead. But y'all see where this is green at? So, all of this down to the soil was, was covered with leaves. And I'm actually probably going to plant this back. Uh, because it may have hope. Um, but yeah, y'all. So, I had accidentally. I didn't mean to pull this up. But it got pulled up uh, when I was out here uh, kind of uh, trying to see what could be savage and what couldn't. What is this? Is this blackberry? No, uh, that was a pepper plant too, but this is mushy. It's dead. So, I just kind of wanted to show y'all what y'all could look for if if you got a pepper plant that you was trying to save. And I'm not saying that that's going to come back, but we going to hope. But y'all see all this stuff I've been cutting and pulling out stuff. A lot of stuff I just cut off flush with the ground. Uh, uh, those over there are cut flush with the ground. We'll see if they come back. They had a little green down by the base of their stems, too. Now, I think I showed in a video, if I, I don't know if I uploaded it yet or not, but I think I showed in a video where uh, <clears throat> it was dead all the way. See, like this is a pepper. Y'all see that? It's dead all the way down. Ain't no cambium blade, ain't no nothing. Uh, when you chop some of this stuff, See how, let me see if I can get this to focus. See how you don't even see no green, no cadmium layer? It's dead down to where I cut it at. And see, this may be completely dead too. Uh, but look how thick, look how thick that, that's that, that was that big old uh, pepper that I didn't know what it was. I was calling it like a tree pepper. Here, one of the peppers here. It was hot. Uh, I thought it was a shishito, but it wasn't. So, I cut all them down to the base. I still got to cut that off and uh, plant it. I got to, I'm gonna pull these, I think they did. I'm gonna check them first. But then if they, if they, uh, well, like I said, I'll be cutting them off. That's what I'll be doing. I'll be saying pull, but be cutting them off. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much what I had going on out here. Uh, let me see. I didn't really do nothing today. I, well, I did a few things. Let me go back here and show y'all. Because I don't like my videos being three minutes. You don't get no... That make your uh, stuff mess up. Your, uh, what you call it there? What am I thinking about? Watch time. Uh, make your, make your algorithms and stuff be messed up. So, can y'all tell you? I've, I've been going around reclaiming saw. But y'all remember, this is where them blackberries were. And I cut, I, I cut everything off at the base, and uh, I'm going to run this stuff over with the lawnmower. And then I reclaim this pot full of saw. I'm getting my saw back, y'all. I ain't playing. I, I got that pot and the pot beneath it. It's full of saw. That's a compost I need to get from out here. But um, show y'all back here, too. I don't think I have shown this yet. I don't bleed. So I know I talked about it in a video, and I'm going to try to make sure I... Put these out in order so y'all sometimes y'all have to bear with me i film stuff and then i forget what order because i beat them forgot what i said half time y'all have to remind me what i said in the video so y'all see the tires are gone uh from over here those tire beds never would do well because of those i think those are twins oak trees this oak tree and then Ain't no telling how many of them roots stretch way over here. Y'all don't understand how far tree roots can grow when they big mature trees. So all that was happening was is uh the tree roots was growing up in them. Try to show y'all out of those tire beds. Y'all see all of this matted weave of soil and that's all roots with the exception of this was like some brush. Uh, but that's all roots that came out of this pile and this pile here came out of those tire beds now 
Let me say this for those of y'all, if you're not making your saw contemplated, if you're going to have a tree cut down, if you got a place to put that tree, I would suggest you not have that tree hauled off. A lot of times, these tree companies, when they cut these trees, they want to haul them off and they charge you to haul them off. But y'all know what they usually do? Some of them do take them to the dump where they have to pay to dump it. But a lot of these tree companies, depending on what kind of tree it is, and trust me, when they come cut it down, they know what kind of tree it is. Uh, they sell it as firewood. Pine, a lot of times it will drop in the, in the dump. But if you're like me and the trees I've had cut down recently have been oaks, they ain't dropping that in the dump. That's barbecue wood. That's firewood. That's You know what I'm saying? So if you got any hardwood tree, oaks, I think ash is hardwood, uh, any of the, any fruit trees, show sure enough, maple, bro, if you have them trees cut, don't let them haul them off if you got somewhere to put them. If they can cut it up into a thing, you can kind of tuck it off in a corner somewhere. Just tuck it in a corner somewhere and let that rot down because that's what that was. That was, I had a tree cut down when I first moved here. I think it took maybe a year. But yeah, it took me about a year before enough logs rotted down far enough where I could get enough dirt to fill six double stack tire beds. So that's a tire on top of a tire. So, um, and all of this came out of there. Probably would have been more if it hadn't been for all those roots. It, it's a lot of dirt actually on them roots, but bro, it's too much work trying to separate all that off. What I'm probably going to do is end up composting those roots. Um... And then that oak tree will go back and give me back what it stole. Because those oak trees, they just grow up into your containers and they steal everything. So if you got mature trees, that's something to worry about So or look out for. So I won't never plant open bottom containers back here no more. If it's not in a tote or something where them uh, roots can't really get up in there, I'm not going to fool with it. Um, so what I did was after I moved those, I got my LSU gold in the ground right here. And over there, it's kind of hard to see. There go the trunk right there. That's the Celeste. So, I guys, remember when I tell you that pot? That was my LSU gold. I ain't got time to be playing with that. So, I got that in. Um, fertilized the real good. These are my brown turkeys. This one right here, one right here. They'll get bigger. They died back to the ground last year. They didn't die down to the ground this year. And these are the trees that I got to uh, go grow uh, cuttings from. If y'all saw her video where her cuttings already have figs on them. And they're starting to bud out so this little area over here i gotta be careful i'm gonna put a shed right there but this little area over here is uh where i'm gonna be putting some trees i'm debating on whether i should move those and put a couple of trees right there my barbecue pit is not gonna stay there because i'm gonna kind of do an outdoor kitchen and i'm gonna do it on the other side of the carport so i got some stuff going on y'all it's always a project around here honey because uh, like i said when I bought this house, I bought it as a fixer upper. I knew it wasn't. There's never, I'm so particular, it's never going to be a house, even if it's brand new. It won't be a house that'll suit my preferences. I'll always, I'll move into a brand new house and start doing stuff. Um, so I said, why not get some mold? Then I can really do the roots. These are Violet de Bordeaux. Oh my God, the fig roots jumped out of the pots on these and went so far into the ground, it was ridiculous. And my neighbor is revving his car like no other and i don't know why i'm unsure as to what's going on but anyhow i cut down that lamb's quarter um right here and uh i planted cilantro uh in this half and we'll see how much of that cilantro comes up because those seeds were kind of old um y'all see these are all the angela busy be home and going she had a bunch of runners that she gave me so y'all can see, this is what I have left. I lost some, but that's what I have left. And then that's the parsley that came back. Um, it's a couple of things I need to, I really need to prune this apple. I really need to prune it and figure out where I want to graft onto, but I need to buy my sign wood first so I can see how thick the sign wood is. So I know where I can, you know, where I can graft to, cause I kind of want the dimension to be the same. But you know what? I could do that graph where you kind of peel the bark back. And you can grab two or three things onto kind of a thick branch. Like if I cut that branch off right here, if I cut it right there, I could stick three um, different or three of the same um, pieces of sign wood in there. So I'm going to end up grafting this tree. I don't know if I'm going to show you that or not because I'm not a like an expert grafter. So I don't know if I should be 
really saying look at this can y'all see how tall this pear tree is that's got to be 20 feet y'all pear trees but you know what these branches over here the ones closest to the camera those are the rootstock that's why i said tall i'm gonna i'm gonna cut the top out of that that's way too tall um i left some of these because i wanted to branch onto it because by this being a rootstock i could branch on i could i mean graft i could graft onto any of these branches but the other side that thicker that one that's the actual tree itself just like this one is doing the same thing so this is the original tree you can see how thick that is this is the rootstock because the graft is like right there and that's coming out below the graft so um and i think this is just a limb that just fell is it's not even part of the tree i knew it wasn't by looking at the bark that's oak so um so yeah i got a couple of things to do out here i'm gonna graft onto that peach over there because if you remember the the grafted part of the tree died but the rootstock lived this one the grafted part of the tree is still living i do like the peaches on it i'm gonna graft on that one and then leave this one alone and let it kind of fill out some um, I don't know what I got my finger all in front of this shit. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> One of these days, you know, I could never be a freaking TV reporter. Um, this tree has a weird shape, so I'm gonna try to correct that. But I'm gonna try to get some fruit first. I haven't gotten fruit off this tree in a while because it'll fruit and then it'll it well it'll bloom and then it it got a frost last year. So I I didn't get any fruit last year, and I think I got one the year before. So, um. So yeah, I'm gonna try to fix the shape of this tree, kind of. It's not horrible, but it's like naked over here and then all the branches over there. But uh, it's, it's not a beauty contest though. And like I said, this is whatever root stock this is. And see, this would be a good size to kind of graft onto because a lot of times when you get sign wood, it's about the size of a pencil. So a lot of this, so I can like, I could cut this shorter and graft there. And then I think, is this part of the tree yeah that's that this was the original trunk and i haven't cut it down yet because y'all this barbecue wood i don't never my fruit woods i don't never throw away i barbecue with them and y'all when you even if you just pruning take all your little prunings and that's your throw that in with you that's your barbecue wood i'm trying to tell you you don't go to the store and buy peach and apple and all this different wood when you got uh stuff out here i've got to cut the top out of that pear tree show sure enough because this pear tree is waking up let me show y'all I and mean, it's the actual fruiting part of the tree that's waking up so y'all see i know the light is horrible but i'm sure y'all probably can see yeah there we go y'all can see it's, it's starting to wake up so i've got to cut the top out of that other tree I've got to cut those those tall ones that I can't reach. I told you I'm not gonna fool with no ladder. I'm not getting them. I'm not doing all that no more. So I got to deal with that. And I found out that this tree must have bear some pecans because the squirrels were hiding the pecans in my greenhouse. And I'm sure when they was doing all that digging, they probably was hiding uh, pecans. Uh, so I have three pecans that I suspect come from that tree. And I don't think I'll ever get the pecans out of that tree. Look how tall that tree is. The squirrels will beat me every time. Because I ain't going way up there. Y'all look at the... I hope y'all can see this. Y'all look at the elder. It's waking up. And I remember I said I was going to move that. It ain't getting moved this year. I may cut it back or something. But it ain't getting moved this year. So I believe I done run out of space and time to move. Because I don't even know where I'm going to move it to. So that's another uh, aspect of that. Um... So, yeah, y'all, I don't have nothing else to show y'all. It's amazing, huh? It looks bright in the camera, but it looks darker in person. None of my seedlings in the greenhouse have come up, so um, nothing to see there. So, yeah, till next time. See you guys later.